What's up guys, it's Riley. I'm gonna record from my laptop because that's why you're looking at this light. I'm gonna show you what it looks like before and after. But first, let's do a little unboxing. Pretty lightweight, plastic material. Not USB-C to USB-C. Let's go ahead and try this on my laptop. The reason why I want to try my laptop is because the whole point of this is to be portable and I'm willing to bet that you guys are going to be using this for your laptop if you're on the go and want to do Skype calls and make it look good. So it just rests on your screen. So obviously you can use this with just a desktop, but I'm going to use this with my laptop. Basically this is just going to sit right here and rest. This is adjustable from back here. And then it's also adjustable with height. So you just raise it and then it just plugs in with USB. I wish it was USB-C. So now it's plugged in and let's go ahead and turn it on. Beautiful. So I got a little shine on my face because I'm a little bit uh, a little bit warm in here, but I mean, it's a pretty soft light actually. Again, I'm just going pure room lighting, but I need to bring in this little video light to show you this. You have your color temperature and then you've got just the intensity and then the power right here. If I make it warmer, my face will go warmer. If I make it cooler, my face will go cooler but I like to look a little more tan, so I'm gonna warm it up a little bit. And now the intensity here, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to 100%. A little comparison, this is a video light, MC Aperture, which is a really bright light. I'm at 100%, and it's honestly very comparable in the brightness. Anyway, the review is not about this Aperture light, it's about this one. So, those controls are on the back, but you can also go onto the desktop app and control it there, so that's what I'm gonna show you now. Oh, and real quick, while I'm going to pull that app up, I wanted to show you if it works pretty well on the laptop. And I would say yes, um, with a little caveat. If it is leaned back too far, it will start to pull it. The weight of that will pull the screen down. So I think if you are gonna just use it at a, at a normal, almost vertical, a little bit tilted back, you'll be just fine. But if you're tilting it all the way back, I would almost commit to picking your angle and having that there. So that's kind of a, kind of an issue when it comes to using it with the laptop, but I will usually work at this angle, so I think that's fine. If you want to get a little bit of a higher light, which I think looks a little better, a little more natural. Well, I don't know if I like that better. Okay, let's go ahead and install that now. And we're going to download from Mac. Install. So excited. This light's pretty good. It's pretty soft. It's a soft diffusion, which I like. I say this is a winner. I already really like it. So yeah, I got two of me now. You guys are lucky. Power. We've selected a camera for you, but you can change your camera color temperature presets all right so let me show you what it looks like all right so cold to warm brightness to 100 percent wow that's blinding and that's cold so obviously you can pick in between man that looks pretty dang good honestly for just a quick setup and on my laptop i like that you can turn it on and off it's got a nice fade um yeah that's pretty nice all right, so there you have it. Honestly, I think it looks really good. I'm pretty happy with it. The diffusion is quite nice. It's light, it's easy to bring around. I definitely recommend this product. So uh, I'll link it down below. It's not affiliated yet because I'm a small channel, but in the future, they'll probably be affiliated. I've got a couple of things coming down the line, so please subscribe and uh, we'll see you for the next one. Thanks guys.